for this new <laughs> for this new thing called esports, which technically does not, you know, exist. And um, honestly, it's been the best decision ever. And I think I try and, you know, give that same kind of encouragement to them to kind of follow their dreams. And um, it works because guess what? I, I don't have to try to convince them that to like video games, right? They already oh, like them. Know. So, you know, I don't have to get them to go, hey, you know, games can be fun. They already know that. <laughs> so, um, no, yeah, it's a great experience all around. Um, I think one of the great parts about esports is it takes something that's com collective and fun and is a big uh, escape for a lot of people. Um, and then you take it and you add a whole opportunity for competition and large scale participation and viewership so people, even if they're not the most competitive or not the best at the game, they can still get in and have a lot of fun with it. Speaking of which, we're getting into this first game of this best of three between Eggman RC and uh, MSU MSUM. Yo, oh my gosh. <laughs> and Demonic already off to it. Oh, you were watching him earlier, right? Yep, I took a chance to go over to his stream on Demonic Rule RL right here on Twitch.tv. If you guys get a chance to check him out. Oh. <clears throat> so you got a little bit of that, a little bit of that calm action between Rollerman and, and Demonic while they were playing, I assume. Oh, oh my gosh, that bump made the whole world a difference there. Rollerman being able to come out of the corner and stop Trash from taking that one home, but that. Sometimes it just looks like some of these plays just explode in front of the net, and there's no telling which way it'll go. Bulliman on his way back, trying to get back on D, gets a big, good stop on Stewie. Demonic on the transfer, takes it back down. Orange in their own defensive end. Oh, contested airspace. Demonic's up. Stewie keeps it out. This is going to be exciting. I am so excited for this game right now. Uh, we've been in here for about a minute, and we've already seen one goal, and we've seen a lot of uh, high-pressure aerial happening in yeah. front of the in front of both nets. Um, so I, I'm waiting for a flip reset. I'm waiting for something mechanically flashy. <laughs> I'm waiting for what could have been a big dunk by Trash into the blue net, but not able to put it through. MSUM still scoreless as we prepare to enter the third minute of this game. Thing I like, I get to watch all different levels of Rocket League. When I started watching um, Rocket League at this level of play, you know, they're reacting to the ball so much quicker. Um, and their ability to predict where it's going to land is just so sharp and precise. It's a lot of fun to watch, honestly. Mm -hmm. I watch a lot uh, of joke Rocket League where people are like horrible, <laughs> so it's joke Rocket And they know it's joke Rocket League, and that's what kind of makes it fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, is he going to be able to find it? There we go. Demonic catches up on the pass. Roland not able to put it in himself. That's a really pretty flick, though. Oh, and the pump fake. Oh, sets him up at the three. He jumps at it. Oh, that's so wonderful. Oh, this is a... Uh, some of these games get so exciting once you start entering these levels. Um, because I think, like I said, it correlates a lot to that fighting game community. There's a lot of mechanical skill on display. At, at all times. Um, and with how the current app system works, everything's kind of standardized. Yeah. You're not going to have to deal with a whole lot of external knowledge or extra knowledge. It's all about you on the field and reading your opponent. Oh, that that has to go in. Trash has oh, to follow. Oh, and there's a follow oh, up by Trash. Pretty. Yep. They get on the board. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, there we go. Big aerial out of midfield, Roman and not able to get there in time. Trash takes it up and over and just drops it off like a nice little package. A little man, man coming by and, and dropping off, dropping <laughs> off what you want. Ugh. Stewie and Demonic on the kickoff. Ball into the orange end. Demonic up. Chasing, looking for the revenge. Trash, easy clear out onto Stewie. Orange team looks to be transferring back into offense. Um, what I think gets very exciting about these twos matches as we go along, uh, with threes you've got a whole team to work with. Yeah. Oh, that's contested. Roll them in. Roll them in. You gotta do better than that. You can't just. You, you can't just. You lollipop set up. that one, baby. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, that's an alley oop. Um, with threes you get a lot of uh, high precision passing play, uh, and games move fast and quickly. Um, 
Jews keeps you a little bit in that 1v1 area in that you have to rely on your own ability and you have to watch your teammate. Oh, roll him in. He almost paid for it. The, the blue team almost paid for it, though, Eggman. Not having a man back ready to deal with that and not getting a good clear at the start. Oh, and there we go. He picks it back up, gets it back downfield. You, you have players end up essentially taking one role or the other. They're either attacking or they're trying to play defense. Um, and so one misstep can is just a world of hurt, and especially if you're on the defensive end. Yeah. Oh, that one's lofting over midfield. Is that one in? Demonic just throws it in from midfield. No problem. And there we go. Uh, one player. Oh, not a large team. I think that was Stewie encroaching up. He was trying to get up there, trying to yeah. trying to pay attention to where Trash is going to throw the ball, uh, trying to be ready for that offensive play, and it just bites them um, because that that one little missed mechanical play uh, means getting scored on in that situation. Entering the final minute of this game, Roloman, Eggman. Contested airfield trash is up, not going to be able to find the double. Stewie comes back through. Roloman is left on the opposite side of the field for far too long. Demonic is left out trying to 1v2. Doesn't get the read immediately. Was afraid, didn't know where Trash was going to go with the ball. There's a lot of variables and you don't know exactly what's going to happen, especially if you got ball cam looking straight up in the air. Um, yep, and, and just, just like that. In. Yeah, we're, all, we're back at 3-3 with under a minute left to go in game one for these guys. Yeah, I I wonder if, for whichever team that wins, if we get another situation like the last game, where immediately after the win, we start to see a team break away and start, uh, start just leading in goals and getting ahead and just starting to run away with a game. Um, I don't know what their headspaces are like. Uh, I don't know uh, what they're talking about. I, I hope they're having fun. <laughs> Because <laughs> we're having fun on the stream at least. Right. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Demonic able to squeeze that one by Stewie. Gets it far out. Last possible offensive drive. Trash clears it across the net. Roland looking to keep it up. We're in zero second time. That's a dangerous clear. Demonic, no, it's off the post. Uh, Are you kidding me? Oh, so that's got to be heartbreak. That's got to be heartbreak for them. They have it all packed away and just not able to follow through. Well, we are getting ready to go into OT for the second time today. Oh man, I wonder. I wonder what is a what does your chat have to think? How many overtimes do you think we're gonna have on this broadcast? We've seen two. We've had one per match. Oh no, that's a big missed opportunity. They totally clear the net of defenders. <laughs> it's just a big shot at the crossbar. Those are some of the hardest shots to make. Regardless of what level you are, the hardest shot in Rocket League has always got to be an open net. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm throwing up a poll actually before overtime ends. If you guys want, pop in and uh, put up some channel points. Who's going to win an OT between Egg and MSU? M. MSUM. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> these acronyms are going to get me. Yeah, no, I was going to say, it might be the death of me today. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy offensive challenge. Roll them in, take the 2v1 on that. That's a real scary. If that one gets by him, that's an immediate goal. It would have to be. But it looks like we've got a lot of space in between these teams. I think they've grown a little bit of respect for each other now. Yeah. Realizing, the, realizing each other's ability and also maybe realizing their own sloppiness at times a little bit worried about what might come through um so so playing a little safe some might say scared i would say safe <laughs> egg right now literally in the poll is up 95 percent. 95 percent of the poll right now believes that egg will win an ot that's i wonder where these numbers are coming coming from, from right yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> a little off about that you might have to ask which network they're getting their polling from <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so worrisome. Oh. Big opportunity. Demonic throwing it off the crossbar. Rollman's up. That's such a scary challenge. This one could be free. Is Stewie going to be able to walk it in? Oh, no. That's another one. Just not even on the post. Even farther off. This is... I feel... 
I feel like they've got to be playing with us at this point. Yeah. They've had so many opportunities on, on open nets or easy follow-throughs, and maybe they're just addicted to overtime. They're like, let's, they were like, let's stretch the, stretch the tournament out. <laughs> this is going too quickly. Oh, man. That's, that's not what I personally need. I have the rest of a pizza waiting yeah, for Yeah, waiting for you. <laughs> oh. But regardless, I'll, uh, I'll feed off these overtime goals. But that means we need an overtime goal. We need goal. one to happen, <laughs> right. I was going to say, you're going to starve one way or the other. <laughs> Might be one of those things where you could take a slice in between. <laughs> oh, no. This one almost <sighs> seems like it's destined to just stay out mid-pitch. I I know I said earlier playing safe. Oh, there, oh, there it, it is. is. Stewie. Oh, Stewie, it just takes one dunk right in front of the midfield to put that ball through. I had been saying previously they had been playing so safe beforehand, keeping themselves back, keeping space, but Rolleman gets beat out on the challenge by Trash on the sidewall. He's all the way downfield after that. He can't come back, and Demonic Will does not get the best clear, does not get the best touch, and a beautiful, beautiful dunk by MSUM to put that one through. They're going to be up in this series, and they've only got one more game, uh, they only need one more game to yep. finish it out. Because currently we are still in our best two out of three. So for everybody at home, let's take a look at the bracket. See if we can get a quick update. Won't you come on? All right. So you guys are currently watching Eggman RC over MSUM. They are currently up one to nothing in the set. And we've got Monkey Go Monkey waiting in winner's finals right now. Meanwhile, let's check out the losers half of things. Park the bus taking on Flip Flop. Looks like they're halfway through their game. I'm taking a look at the Discord for that right there. Then LSE is waiting for the winner and the loser of this match to face them in um, losers round number two. And we'll uh, probably pop back in around losers round number three or so after the uh, conclusion of winners finals and that'll probably graduate us to losers round number four we'll see what happens when we get there i won't hold it up too much but that is how we got to where we are right now guys um, i know currently it does not look the best but there is part of me that that has maybe a little bit of insider trading knowledge mm. um and in that match six uh happening on the bottom side of the bracket there was park the bus and uh what was their team name right there park the bus and flip flop and flip flop There's, yeah part of me really wants to see flip flop play eggman rc mm, okay um because uh they, got, an they got some outstanding history a little bit, maybe not particularly negative, but it'll it'll definitely be some good trash talk afterwards. Good. <laughs> uh, one of the one of the wonderful wonderful communities that uh, we dipped our toes into to to try and source some players to come by uh, and enjoy this with us. Um, MLE. Um, oh, trash telling me to shut up, putting a goal in already. Uh, that doesn't look great if you're Eggman down in the set and now down in the game. And that's probably going to set the tone for the rest of this 4 minutes 30. Oh. But, back to what I was saying. Flip Flop, their captain, Rapid Champion, and the captain of Eggman on C, uh, RC, here on stream right now, Rollerman, um, they play in the same franchise in minor league esports. Gotcha, so okay. they've spent a lot of time together. They, they listen to each other, ramble on about whatever, pretty consistently. So I have to assume if they were to meet in bracket, it one of them wouldn't hear the end of it <laughs> for at least a few weeks. But. Jay Blue's words saying such a beautiful power duo right there. <laughs> Seeing MSUM starting off strong in this second game. Four minutes, 15 left to play, and they're up two. Uh, and if we're to take that last game scoreline into account, that might be all they need. It, it was a one goal game in overtime and you've already set the standard that you're gonna start leading like this. Uh, I, there's a lot of worries about the mental. <laughs> yeah, no, I could agree. Rollerman trying to get a challenge on his way back. Those things get a little bit dangerous at times. Big demo, Stewie puts it through. It just looks like MSUM have found their footing and <laughs> Just kind of stomping a little bit. Yeah. And this one getting ready to go to a uh, second poll we're getting ready to see. Um, let's go ahead and see now how people feel with a new poll coming up. Who's going to win this match? If 
if I were a betting man and I saw a minute and a half into this game, I think I know where I would put where I would put my points. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got five minutes on that poll. You guys can go ahead and throw some channel points in on who's going to win um, this particular match. Three and a half minutes left in this game. I uh, I wonder how that. I wonder. I wonder how that poll result is going to turn out. Because what was it, 95%? 95% went to Emma. Now this time it looks like people have changed. We've got a hundo on Egg right now that with five <laughs> channel points. And that's kind of going back and forth. It's kind of evening out now. They're almost close okay. to about half. Okay. Uh, I don't have the poll results up for myself. So when I when I heard you say that there was a hundo on Egg, I was worried that somehow their, their prediction had went up. Like they're down three goals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and there's another goal for MSUM. That pull's still up, right? I think I might need to go get some channel points. Yeah, go get some channel <laughs> points real quick. <laughs> I think you definitely got the odds in your favor right now. But it's two and a half yeah. minutes left. You know, still just about anybody's game. It could be. It could be. Uh, these these matches can swing so wildly, and it's so it's so interesting when those things do. Uh, I mean, unless you're a coach for one of these teams. Uh, <laughs> And you see things just exploding in different directions, and suddenly everything that you knew about the game is falling apart. And Rollerman is scoring a goal right off of the kickoff, uh, putting them maybe back into this game. They've they've stopped uh, they they've stopped the streak. There were five in uncontested between the last last game's overtime and the four that have been put up in this half of the game. They've they've stopped the bleeding, hopefully, but we'll have to see what happens here. Very Ooh, true. Big ol' slow triple. No, I get so excited, especially those Dominus players, uh, those those big old flat cars that they have. The moment that they start up a dribble, there's there's no telling where the ball will go because uh, those flicks that you can put on with those flat cars just soar for miles. It is a launching pad. Ball back into orange zone. Demonic up with a big challenge at midfield. Ooh, that one's uncontested. Is that one going to be walked in? Stewie finds another for his team. MSUM have corrected the net goal difference. That happened about 40 they, seconds They were ago. like, we have to pull this back the other way. It's unfair. We said we have a quota that we have to meet. We have to win this match by so many goals. <laughs> and you're just making it harder on us. Two minutes left to play. Ball falling into the orange end. Trash. Beautiful little takeoff from his own side of the net. Yep. This oh, come on. Coming back to roll him in. Uh, not even feel, dude. <laughs> Demonic, looking from his own corner. Oh, that's a oh. dangerous clear. Oh, Rollman doing so much work to challenge that from trash and make sure that that ball gets pinched out. Hey. It's so worrisome. I haven't seen anybody pick up uh, any continual pressure. Nobody is like, it's not staying in one half of the field True. for very long. True. The ball gets picked up, uh, and either they're setting up a dribble, they're starting a flick into the other end, or they're just booming it all the way downfield like Stewie is right here from his own back wall, picking it up at the half field. Almost challenges Demonic on the way through. Rollman, he's cheating out. He's sitting up there at the top of the box, and I think that uh, that scarred them last time was how maybe aggressive they got on their own defensive end. Maybe got a little bit too eager. Lady Blue Sword, thank you so much for the follow. Approaching 30 seconds left in this game. Stewie gets two taps, takes the ball downfield, Trash picks it up, and they have all day to walk that uh -huh. one in and roll them and gets back there. Maybe... Maybe MSU knows that they've won at this point, and they're just, you know, taking their just time with it, it hoping yeah. to run out the time. No, because considering, you know, the rough ending to the last one, MSUM coming out with the victory on that one, this one a, a little bit, a little less tense. Here we are, the final seconds of the game. We'll see if Eggman get any consolation. They get none, MSUM, and it, spiking the ball on their own end. But a, a real